Welcome to the project demonstration of solar wireless electrical vehicle charging system. So every electrical vehicle comes with a battery pack and that to be uh, recharged. And nowadays uh, every uh, like electrical vehicle should be recharged through the contact base. Means we need to uh, plug in the charger to the electrical vehicle for charging purpose. So that is uh, like uh, it won't be uh, like supportive for every time. And main thing is it will take some time to charging the battery of the electrical vehicle it will take around half an hour or one hour depending on the power of the so called charging circuits and the charger output current so now we come with a solution of wireless electrical vehicle charging system so which is works based on the mainly wireless power transmission concept that is based on the emf signal so from this 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 one is called a transmitter coil and this one is the receiving coil so primary and the secondary coil so whenever we are providing the ac signal to the copper coil then the surrounding of the copper coil will be generated means will be get uh, get affected with the uh, with our uh, emf signal so that emf will get be induced in this copper coil when we place this uh, this uh, copper coil in the region of this primary copper coil so based on the frequency and the power the so called uh, like emf will uh, uh, the distance of the emf will varies so if you provide the high frequency with the high voltage with the sufficient current then the emf uh, around this copper coil will be around 5 cm of distance so when we place the secondary coil in the 5 cm of region then it will get induced and uh, that is the ac signal will be converted into the dc with the help of ac to dc converter and the output is directly given as input to the uh, load here so here the concept is as we discussed wireless power transmission and uh, the, main the main application is uh, if we place the number of coils on the road whenever the vehicle moving on these coils then automatically while driving also we can charge our electrical vehicle battery so that is the main application advantage uh, with the wireless power transmission and mainly it is very very safe as there is no contact between the input to output totally wirelessly it is working so to execute these features the mainly we are using a battery pack so when we are talking about the battery pack we can charge a battery pack with the help of renewable sources like solar panel and whenever the sunlight is not available we can charge a battery pack with the help of grid which is directly from the uh, input voltage of 230 volts so these two are the charging circuits respectively this is one for the solar and this one is for the transformer so when we provide the 230 volts ac input the transformer will step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts of ac and the 12 volts ac will be converted into the 12 volts of dc with help of two stages here so on this charging circuits we can see the four diodes will acting as a rectifier so which will convert the ac to pulsating dc and a filter will remove the pulses and provide as a pure dc of 12 volts that will be given as input to the battery pack through these two diodes uh, which will acting as a unidirectional current flow means whenever the battery is fully charged then the so called diodes will block the current flow from the battery to the transformer in order to protect the transformer from reverse current same thing here also but here these four diodes will acting as a uh, polarity correctors means they rectify the input so what is the purpose of this rectifier when we are providing the dc then no need of rectify that but so when we are talking about the dc input there is chances of there is chances of reverse polarity connection means the dc has a polarity so plus and minus in order to uh, place this to the charging circuit we should take care of plus to plus minus to minus so that is very important if we place the reverse connection then the battery or the solar panel may get damaged so when we are using the four diodes this four diodes when we provide the input of dc then these four diodes will acting as a polarity correctors means when we place in reverse bias also reverse direction also then these four diodes will rectify that plus to plus minus to minus and remaining capacitor filtration and uh, two diodes will acting as a unidirectional current flow here so coming to the ratings we are using 12 volt uh, 3 watt solar panel and 12 volt 1 amp dc pack uh, battery pack so this dc battery pack of 4 volt 1 amp three numbers are there these are connected in series so we'll get 12 volt 1 amp dc output so that is input to the circuit so which will convert the dc to ac and here ac to dc and here dc to ac which will convert the dc signal of 12 volts to ac signal of 125 kilohertz frequency ac signal uh, that is input to this copper coil so when we providing that high frequency signal then the emf will be generated at a distance of 5 centimeters region then when we place this secondary coil then automatically it will get induced 
and it will provide the same frequency voltage that is 125 kilohertz of 12 volts and that will be rectified to 5 volts with the help of this uh, AC to DC converter. Let us check the demonstration. So when we on this, there you can see the indication of the transmitter is producing the EMF. So when we place this secondary coil, now see, right, okay, at, the, at this distance. See, you can see this. So in this region, the total power is getting induced and it will be affected to AC to DC converter and we are getting the voltage. Okay, in this manner, the wireless power transmission is achieved with the help of uh, high frequency signal generation and DC to AC, AC to DC converters. Right. Thank you.